Hey guys, welcome back to Daisy Crochet, or welcome if you're new. If you are new, my name is Shay, and I own a small crochet business with my twin sister, Fiona. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna try something new and fun, I hope. I'm going to be spinning a wheel to decide what I crochet. So I'm gonna be doing the spin a wheel crochet challenge. I've seen this on a couple other creators platforms. I've never watched the video so I'm going to be doing it in my own way but I thought it was a really fun idea so I'm going to do that today. If this is fun and interesting I might end up doing it with a variety of different crochet projects but today I'm going to be doing it using flowers. I just recently started making flowers and I've been loving it but I've been having a hard time deciding what color and what type to make next. So today the wheel's going to decide. I'll be spinning the wheel on my laptop and I'm gonna do a screen recording so that you guys can see exactly what it lands on each time. And I'm hoping to make a couple different flowers in this video. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I moved the camera slightly so that you guys can see the wheel. And now we're going to spin the first wheel, which is the actual type of flower that I'm going to make. Okay, so as you can see, I have a bunch of different types of flowers on here. Some of them I have made before, and some of them I have never made before. So let's see what we get. I'm kind of nervous for some reason. We got a tulip! Okay, so the next category that we're going to spin for is going to be the color of the tulip. So I have a list of colors that I have available to me right now, and now we're gonna spin for one. I'm not too nervous about this one because I feel like any color of tulip will look good. Okay, so it looks like we landed on blue. I have a bit of an interesting color of blue. Um, it's a little darker, so I'm really interested to see how this looks as a tulip. Okay, and then our final category for the flowers is the color of stem. So I have on here sage green, moss green, and dark green. I already have some sage green stems made, so I'm hoping that's what it lands on. But if not, then I will just make some new ones. Okay, let's spin. It was so close to going on sage. It looks like we're going to be doing a moss green stem for the blue flower. So our first flower is going to be a tulip that's blue with a moss green stem. So now let's just start making it. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I have made a tulip before. I made it in my crochet with me video that I just posted a little bit ago. So make sure to watch that if you haven't already. This is what it looks like. It's super cute. I love the color and everything. Um, it is a little bit bigger than I would have liked. So this one, I'm just going to modify it a little bit. I think instead of doing 10 single crochets originally, I'm going to do 8. I think I could even do 6, but I'm going to try 8 and see how that looks. And now I'll show you the blue yarn. Here is the blue color that we'll be using. I use this for my pillow, if you saw that in my Crochet With Me video. Uh, it's a really pretty blue. It's not something you would usually see as like a flower, but I do think it's going to look really cute. And also, it's going to look good with the other flowers that I've already made. And then I will show you guys the color for the stem when I make it. And yeah, let's just get right into crocheting the flower. Okay, sorry for this kind of weird angle, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So I will obviously link any of the patterns that I use in this video in the description, but I'll let you know if I modify them at all, like this one. I'm, I think, using a slightly bigger hook than the person in the tutorial does. I'm using a four millimeter, and I think I'm also using a bigger yarn size as well so that's probably why mine ended up like bigger last time but uh this is just what i have so we're gonna work with it Okay guys, so I finished 
the tulip i'm gonna do two less rows of like one single crochet around just because i did do less initially like eight rather than ten so i just took two rows away i don't know if that was logical but that's what i did so now i'm gonna stuff this guy a little bit and sew up the top Okay guys, here is the first flower mostly done without the stem. I love the way this looks. I love the size compared to the other one. I think it's just a little bit more of an appropriate size, especially with the other flowers I've made. So I'm definitely going to be doing this size from now on with the tulips. I also am obsessed with this color. I think I like it more than I thought I would for a flower, especially a tulip. And obviously I will show you guys what it looks like when it has the stem on. But for now, I'm just going to move on to the next flower. So I'm going to grab the spinner and get started on that. Okay, guys, so we are ready to go with the next spin. Also, just so you guys know, if I get like a duplicate of any of the things that I've already done, I'm just going to spin again. Okay, we got a new flower that I've never made before. I think it's called a ping pong flower, but if I'm wrong, please let me know. People were spelling it two different ways on YouTube. There's also a puffy ping pong flower, but it's basically just like making a pom pom. So I wanted to do something that was actually crocheting, although I do want to make the fluffy ones because they're super cute at some point. But I am really excited to try this one. It is a super unique and cute looking flower. And yeah, now let's figure out what color I'm going to make. Okay, so it looks like it landed on white. I do think that will look really good with this flower, but probably any color would have. And I also have never used white to make a flower before, so that's exciting. Okay, and finally, let's spin for the stem color. Okay, I did get moss green again, but I think that's fine, honestly, because it's just a stem color and I kind of want them to have similar stem colors anyways so i'm just gonna leave that one the way it is okay guys so we got a ping pong flower that's white with a moss green stem i'm really excited to make this because i have never tried it before so let's just get started okay i have my white yarn and i also have the tutorial pulled up and i'm just gonna start making this i might not be able to film too much of it because i'm gonna be watching the tutorial but i'm gonna try my best so i grabbed a 3.5 hook for this um, the person in the tutorial is using a 2 to 3 millimeter, but my yarn is much bigger than hers. But this is already like really difficult. My yarn keeps splitting because this is not the correct hook size to use. Hopefully it will be okay though. I just want to make sure my flower isn't too big. Okay, everybody, I finished the first part of the flower. It took me a while because I'm not used to crocheting with this size of hook, but it's just a little ball. It looks like a good size, so I'm happy about that. And now I'm just going to do the fluffy petals part of this flower.
you guys it's now the next day i've been working on the flower but it's taking me forever and it's really hurting my arms i think it's because of the tiny hook so this is how far i've got i guess i'm about halfway and i'm gonna continue working on this today hopefully get it done today but if not then hopefully tomorrow Okay guys, I finally finished this flower. I actually love it. I think it looks so cute. I still have to make the stem for this one as well. It kind of looks like popcorn, <laughs> but I really like it. I don't know how many more of these I'm gonna make like for like markets or anything, just cause it took me so long, but I'm really glad I tried this pattern. So I think I'm going to do one more flower today and I'm gonna spin the wheel. One more time for each category and see what we get okay so starting off with the flower type let's spin for it okay so we got a carnation flower this is interesting i have never made this type of flower before um hopefully it's easier than the last one but let's spin for the color now okay looks like we got yellow I have also never made a fully yellow flower so far so this is very interesting and i think that yellow goes well with this flower type as well so this is a good spin and finally spinning for the stem color we got moss green again so all three of these new flowers are gonna have moss green stems i hope i have enough yarn but i am gonna go make the stems once i'm done this flower or at least have some of it done and i'll film that process for you guys as well and then i'll show you the final flowers okay so this pattern that i'm following i'm gonna follow the written pattern but there is also a video tutorial it apparently uses a four millimeter hook which is good because i actually have that and i have my yellow yarn here it's like a pastel yellow which is really nice and I think it's gonna go well with my other flowers that I've made and I think there also might be like a little green like stem part that you have to add so I might have to go get my moss green yarn to make that part it's like the part that goes underneath the flower I don't really know how to explain it oh it's called a calyx or a calyx I'm just gonna get as much done on this one as I can and then I'll get back to you guys once I have some progress hey guys here's some progress on the carnation flower this is not taking me very long at all i did size down the pattern a little bit i'm hoping it still works the same she did uh 15 doubles initially and i did 10. so i'm gonna see if that makes like a slightly smaller flower hopefully i just have to do this row and then one more row and then like cinch it up so that it is like twisty and then i have to make the little bottom part and i'll be done Hey guys, sorry I'm literally laying in my bed, but I just wanted to show you that I finished the flower. Now I'm gonna make the calyx green part, but I have to go get the moss green yarn for that. Hey guys, so I grabbed the green yarn and I finished the little bottom part here. It's not glued on yet. So here's the flower. Now I have to grab my other two flowers and I'm gonna do the moss green stems for them and then I'll finish them up. Okay guys, I just finished the flowers and I'm going to show you them. So the first one that we made was the blue tulip with the moss green stem. I love this one. I love the size of it compared to the last tulip that I made. This is the only flower I had made before, but I still did modify this pattern a little bit. And I'm really liking this color stem as well. I think it's really cute. Here's the first one. And then the second one, I really wish this didn't take too long because I really love it. And I'm really glad that I've spun white as well because it is really cute as white. And I also like the stem color on this one. I don't know why I got moss green three times, but I had never tried it for stems and I really like it. So that's a win for me. And then finally, we have the yellow carnation flower. This one is definitely really unique. I really like the stem color with it and I think it is really cute. It didn't take too long so I'll probably make more of these. I really like this one as well. Here's all three of them together. I can't really get them like in a good arrangement. 
but this is what they look like all together i don't think i would put these in a bouquet together necessarily although they do look cute together um they're just all pretty big ones but i'll show you what they look like with all the other flowers i've ever made this is like too big to hold kind of but here's all the flowers i've ever made oh my gosh i love them so much i'm gonna be making flowers all the time now and i'm also really hoping to sell them at markets but yeah here's all the flowers so cute okay that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i definitely had a lot of fun doing this um i'd love to do it again with flowers maybe or with plushies or something else so if you did enjoy it let me know and i'll be sure to make more of the spin the wheel challenge videos and also stay tuned for just more flower making videos in general because I'm obsessed with making flowers and I'll be doing it a lot more in the weeks to come. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like it if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!